hey, if you guys like the content, how about you uh click that subscribe button and if you're super cool, hit that bell icon. That way, you'll never miss a video from this channel. See ya. Ah, oh, sir, you've been down there for quite a while. The party's over. This manor at the top of a rocky outcrop. The same way Batman managed to build his bat cave. Just accept it. The game is really gonna start. Wait, this is negative alterations? Oh, I'm gonna Arkham vibe now. Whoa, impressive. That would be scary as hell. Ah, my son, I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Vice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope, but I haven't seen her. If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, oh, I have to persuade him. I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, wait, what? You can always give. Three blunders. Me. During confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Okay. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Never mind, give me your letter. Maybe I should say yes. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but... Given the hour, she must be asleep by now. So he doesn't know that she's been here a long time then. I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son. What does that mean? Your mother in the highest regard. Fucking she my has mother. rendered great service to the church. I think he's banging my mom. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet. Which is why I want I to meet like in this very public mansion nameless. right in the entrance. If your mother <laughs> wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind. What's well, on his hand? So. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certain. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Okay. So either I say we remember the Golden Order. I can't tell him that. I'm gonna see if it's a professional if you secret. you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, but do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I yeah. I'm gonna say oh, I'm part of a secret left. order. You might have heard of it. It's called the Golden Order. We're a secret society. We do secret shit. <laughs> which we were. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Is that supposed Up to be a dialogue now, or is that supposed to be your, with her in person, <laughs> your mood? And that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Yes. Hmm, I'll say you, you can count on me because saying it if I give it to her if I find her makes sound she's missing and he doesn't know that. Let's leave it like this. Don't worry, your eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Derishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect Boom, none. bitch. Perfect. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God? No one other than your mother will read it. 
For last step of conversation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give answer, the step will repeat itself until you have the right or no blunder. Okay. So if I fail, I can start over. I don't believe in God. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. That was Please, super easy. That was the only option that it. made sense. I am going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Luce. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face he a He says large, but the thing says fair. Cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, the church can't literally be bled, though. Have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your and that's being an asshole. Oh, it's in my sense. By organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders, even if she does not share all her convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Now you're talking like she's be dead. Only for her sake, always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time Oh, is what short. is happening with your neck right there? Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Are you telling that to me or for you? Because that's weird to say to yourself. Like, you would, I would, you would know that. You know what I mean? Go back to the group near the chimney. No. I'm gonna ex explore some shit first. Like this candle. That was done to get you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunity will be the fucking dialogue choice of conversation. You cannot carry more than five. So I do feel like there's a supernatural element here. And not just like in terms of just gameplay. Cause obviously that's more so for Maybe gameplay, I but introduce myself to the other guests first. He had a massive vision in the beginning. Like some weird life is strange type shit. Lives of the noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. I can't just flip through it to. I need a skill for that? Oh, fine, take the goddamn book. This man just takes everything that's not bolted down. I can appreciate that. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. Whoa, is that any window? One can say, I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you it also must be fucking arrived? cold there, then. Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur, His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. He joins us straight from Rome. Yeah, I met. Just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington. What? President of the United States of America. That's George like Washington. Last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Morass. That's Derichon. George Washington. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Like nice actual George you. Washington. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many What is wrong with George Spanish. Washington? And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet, and you'll see. Why would the president be in London, though? Like, that's... And I, I still feel like they'd be salty over the whole, at the entrance. you know, revolution the thing. Perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Oh, I'll just say my mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. He's it's like, so yeah, I'm Monsieur begging her. Can you believe it? That is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. Are you supposed to be a spy in Washington? Because you'd be terrible at it. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, 
Do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Well... Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. Oh, so you guys just so get fucked up and decide to the fate of the world, huh? Uh, Sounds about right. You've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? For none of your goddamn business. I'll lie to you. He not anything. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no goddamn sense here. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Is everyone just banging my mother? Oh, he's part of the order. Good lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. Yeah, just out in the it's open the like that. distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. This he must really know his stuff. his dick all hanging out course. like that, huh? Good but you know what? They've always, um... Shit. That's the man for my vision. They've, oh, oh God! Case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. Jesus. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deep. Dude, either apology. put on the rest of your makeup or He's take it all off. Hasn't even turned up. Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat, very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised. I was gonna say they always had this thing where home. Washington was super into like now, dear, occult and secret societies. So it makes sense that they make him for those part of the grand order or gold order. Me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. Yet you're one the one yelling the most. The guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this Holm. I saw him in my vision. But, hmm. If I stay here, and she's here... Maybe I should go with him? Nah, he's too ugly. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. He's like, fine. Please, no one needs today. You staying. Fuck Just you guys. Like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. I never said she no went missing. Worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is, in fact, the leader of the order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask my See, it's a good thing I stay. Now I know I'm a, a part of this. Questions. Now's the time. That explains why she was talking to my mother. And you, Emily, what do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange so then why would I know you? courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. <laughs> but I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. Yeah, she was war. introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, 
she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt. Yeah, your mother has to live, my boy. Started. She has lived. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? As loudly as possible. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> but I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Wait, if I'm asking the question, why am I asking another question? My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about That's a weird conversation like thing? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. Hey, Sleepy Hollow reference. What was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Don't answer Thank for you, him, because then he doesn't have to I answer it. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. He, he's dead, isn't and he? And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, I'll show the book, though. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? Well, that hand know. motion was not discreet. An extremely <laughs> likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. When you see what? Her leaving? Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Are you sure? Yes, because I, she's I hiding around the island, moving from location to location with barely any food, and sticking her purse inside Careful, of wharfs. They're coming back. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> Still salty, aren't you? About that war? That Absolutely. It is remarkable. Yeah, it's fucking huge. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, oh, is that Cronus eating his children? With you. Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have well, liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? His mouth. Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. Let's go pay her a visit. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Why is Let's your mouth so shiny? You see that white thing, right? She's not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Is she trying to bone her? Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see I think I'm about to murder someone. <laughs> On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. 
You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Of course. Of course I will. I have to do the longest walk. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my... Don't you hate being bone tired? See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Okay, Evergreen. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? We could go to our room, or... Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Oh, let's read a sign. That's... I thought there'd be more. Man, this guy really likes his... His chairs. Duke Manuel Godoy. Ooh, Godoy. A Byzant from the Byzantine Empire. A coin often used during the St. Louis era. He has literally tables and chairs everywhere. Okay, let's look at some of his artwork. Let's look at some of the art over here. Maybe this might give us a clue as to the kind of person he is. So we got. Can we see that? Well, it looks like a painting of this place that we're at. It's just wars. Okay. A fish? Looks like fish. More boats. Oh, very boring paintings. Yeah, one of Kronos, but this one. Huh, that's me. This is Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Monsignor. These all look the same. I wonder if room order is going to be important. Oh, let's go to bed. It's not my room. There we go. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? I'm gonna say leave it closed, just because I feel like that letter's gonna Can't pay. To open it, but I gave it pay off to Piaggi, later. so too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to mother. Wow, nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. What the fuck? Why would I have these these paintings here? Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. And then you have Saturn devouring his son. Again. Yeah. I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. No, you wouldn't, because he didn't like his kids. He loved his power, though. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. The conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. Caravaggio? It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. Oh, this guy. And of course. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way. When you know that the artist represented himself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Let's get another art history. Oh, it's a box. I thought it was a book for a second. I was like, I have to unlock a book? What is this? What is, what is that coming out of your chest? Your nipple? It's weird. I, oh, I feel like this is gonna play into things later on, for sure. Connected balconies and all this shit. Yeah. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. 
Uh, just look at the view. Okay, move away. Wait, whose room is this? Oh, was that my room? That was weird. What the hell? Wait, I didn't want to do any of that stuff. Aw, oh, man. Ugh. Alright, well, we are done this episode here. I mean, I'm sure this is the full episode, but this part we're done with. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.